Hi, my name is Rene and in this video we will uh, execute an experiment uh, which is a common source amplifier and uh, which is uh, in the list of university practicals and we'll see how does it functions okay, and uh, what uh, things can impact on it. So I have taken a reference from uh, uh, from internet okay, and uh, this is gentleman Professor Wu Yong Choi and uh, he has a document uh, which mentions the theory of a common source amplifier along with uh, PMOS current mirror as a load. Okay. So all uh, the ratios etc they have been mentioned on this document. Okay. So you can find it this on internet. Okay. So here, so this is what the schematic I'm using it, this this one. Okay, this one. So you need a reference current. You have a PMOS current over here, and that's uh, the common source amplifier or the transistor and MOS transistor. Okay. So it's all about that where the current enters and where it goes. So only the left terminal that is called as uh, the common source amplifier. So you have a reference current over here. So for the reference current, I'm using another MOS transistor for biasing it. Okay. So here you see this is I'm using a DSCA software of Microwind package. And uh, so, and uh, this is my PMOS current mirrors. Okay, so this is a reference current from where the amount of reference current goes through. And I have applied a 0.6 supply for biasing it. Okay, and that is my the active load uh, current source uh, common source amplifier loaded within small capacitance of 0.05 picofarad. Okay. So I'm using a 90 nanometer uh, CMOS technology. So you can just, if you want, you can uh, just reset this technology to CMOS 90 nanometer. Yeah. So on the bottom side, you can see it's a 90 nanometer technology. Okay. So now let's say uh, we want to simulate this. Okay. So ah, sorry, I, I missed to update on this. So this is I'm using a voltage source as an input. So here you can see the supply voltage is 1.2 volt and I'm giving a very small amplitude signal 0.1 volt with a frequency of 500 megahertz and with an offset of 0.6. Okay. So to simulate this I will be using a WinSpice software. So you can go to file, generate WinSpice and you can select okay what kind of simulation you want to perform. So I say I want to run it only for 50 nanosecond. Okay and you can just say run WinSpice. So here you can see that this is how it comes up. So you can see the check the gain. So you can just zoom in in one of the blocks and you can look at the gain factors by measuring the amplitude of it. So this for sure, this is like uh, 200 millivolts peak to peak. Okay. And for the output, you can see, okay, you can zoom in a little bit more. So let's say it's around like 150 to 850. So almost like 700 millivolt of swing okay so that is again 700 divided by 200 so almost like kind of uh, four or five of the gain is there okay so now if you want uh, you can even see the ac analysis of it so you can see generate and spice and you can say you want to do an ac analysis and you want to plot that in db and you can say that okay i want to just see from uh, maybe uh, 200 megahertz to maybe 10 gigahertz and thereby you see that so we can see that after a couple of gigahertz the amplitude drops so the unity gain bandwidth is still almost like a couple of gigahertz only so if you give a signal of about maybe 2 gigahertz you should see a significant drop in the amplitude so that we can verify by going the volt source and uh, applying a signal of more than that couple of gigahertz so i just give a four gigahertz signal and just simulate this again so transient again almost like 50 nanoseconds and run this spice so thereby you can see that the amplitude has shifted and dropped below okay the offset has dropped and even the amplitude has dropped from almost like 150 to 450 it is there so the gain is less and let me check with a uh, little bit more of frequency so maybe I just go to 5 gigahertz now and run Venspice again. 
so thereby you see that again the amplitude had dropped a little bit more so that's how you can see and maybe uh, let me check on the extreme range uh, maybe I just go to 10 gigahertz there so there you see that the amplitude has significantly dropped okay so this is about uh, a common source amplifier with uh, a PMOS current as a load so remember that this is 90 nanometer technology I'm using and with the uh, width of constant with all the transistors which is 5 micrometer okay thank you very much